Hello, just a quick video to show you this. So this is a rack tower, Raspberry Pi rack tower for four Raspberry Pis that I got from Amazon, uh, labeled under Geek Pi, I think is the seller, and the product is this ZP-0088 rack tower. Uh, and it is very, very cool. I like it a lot. So the idea is you can put four Raspberry Pis in it, and then you've got a combination of things you can do. You can either combine them um, so that you can, if you hook them up properly, you can have sort of a, a cluster, or what's called a NAS cluster, um, or you can use them individually and just uh, connect them separately and use them one at a time. So it's all good. It looks excellent. However, I've got to be honest, the instructions suck. <laughs> the instructions are awful. And um, yeah, I don't know if the Geek Pies guys are watching this, but... Um, yeah, it's not great. I mean, admittedly, I'm maybe not the best one to say to review it because I don't. I tend to struggle with these kind of things anyway. But for example, fix the copper sticks to the acrylic layer after peeling off the protection film is kind of step one, and the picture makes no reference to the copper sticks. Are actually these here? They're the copper sticks, and they, or at least I think they are. Uh, and uh, the film it's talking about is actually. A plastic film that's attached onto here and you you know like you do with if with a mobile phone it comes with a front cover uh, protective dust cover and you just peel it off um so that's that yeah the, the instructions just don't seem to marry up particularly well with the pictures and they don't explain it so what i want to do is just show you really the best way of doing it if you get this and then you can just save yourself a lot of aggravation effectively you get two of these one for either side so what I would do is, if I just kind of stand this up here, um, the first thing you want to do, the absolute first thing, and this isn't in the instructions, but the very first thing you actually want to do is this, because the fan kind of comes in the middle of the instructions, but if you do it in the middle, by that point you've kind of semi-assembled it, and you then actually can't fit this in. So you've got to do that first. So the first thing you do is actually put these acrylic... Uh, I don't even know what to call them, but the stands or whatever, detachments. But yeah, just basically, basically make sure that you get these two, uh, whatever they are, uh, plastic acrylic thingies, and just basically make sure that you uh, put them on to the, uh, to the fan. And then if you stand it up like so, and then just put the poles through, and also put, this one's quite useful at the top, and we're going to use this in a second because it's actually going to hold, help uh, keep it in place. So if I now flick that on its side, so if you do it like that, the quickest thing you can do is just, you'll save yourself absolutely ages if you just get it into that position. So get the board and get the four legs and the uh, that one at the top there. Right, then... Um, you might need them this if you um, want. Thank you. And my son has passed me the screwdriver. So you get the screwdriver with it. So that's all groovy. Uh, right, the fan fits on here into the slots i struggle with this to be honest now i have really shaky hands uh, so i don't have the best hands really to be demonstrating this kind of thing but i guess that means if i can do it then most people can so right uh raspberry pi now it is i will say it is difficult to um kind of if you wanted to add a pi You've kind of got to disassemble it a little bit. It is it's not really as though you can slide it in, um, which would have been nice, but I guess it's just the nature of the beast. So that's not too bad, and it it's fine. As I say, once you've got it set up, it's okay. So we'll put that one at the top, um, and I have got a couple of other pies, but just for the sake of uh, just for the sake of speed at the moment, I'm going to put these in. If I can remember which way they go like that i've got that the wrong way around yeah i never could get these right at school i was always horrendous with the old uh, constantly trying to put the uh, square peg in the round hole right uh okay so that, that one in there same again for that one i think and one more uh, da, 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 that's right um, oh I'm a complete Wally, I've, and I've no doubt you've been all been screaming at me. Um, <laughs> I'm a complete Wally, look at that. Oh dear, gotta love it. Okay, I'm doing this one take, by the way, there's no editing, so you have to kind of bear with it. Uh, if I do little goofs like that one, that's all good. Right, 
but the point is kind of this that we are in right and having kind of got it into that position so you start with the start with the fan put those uh, attachments on to either side first do that first that's the very first thing you need to do then drop one of these on its side then put the metal poles in then attach this and actually attach it it'll got a screw at the end there get it into this position once you've done that you if you do that that's probably going to take about five ten minutes tops and i it took, it took me about half an hour of trying to understand the instruction manual to get to that point and the other thing is you can then um kind of use that one I'm trying to do this one handed now you can then put that one in there and then what you do is that kind of becomes a good little holder to stop it flapping all over the place that's happy days and now the fun bit because we gotta try now we're gonna try and do this one-handed so then you gotta try and line this up i may have to just shout my son down in a minute and just see him although it's actually going together now the other thing is as i'm going to show you in a second i've actually got to contact them because the screws don't quite fit um, as i will show you in a second line up those holes oh nearly there Ooh. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to pause it. Bear with me a second. Okay, and we're back. So, yeah, uh, that, the thing is, it's slightly easier than I made out there. The problem is, is I've got these shaky hands and it's really difficult for me to grip it. So, um, right, the power lead, as you know, connects to, I just remind myself, Again, this isn't really said. Well, it, it actually is, to be fair. It does tell you which way. It does tell you which way. Um, it gives you a picture down here. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's imagine that I don't know, and I'm trying to line this up. Da -da -da -da, that will be that bit, and therefore that B. The red cable, like so. Bada bing. Okay, so that's in there. Right, now I've actually got to write to the guys because down here, this all fits together. Once it's in, it's in, and it looks really sweet. Uh, however, for me, um, it's not coming together flush. And um, it, I don't know if that's me, actually. But down here, this one here, it just physically, once it's in, it won't actually connect. That just, it's the, the screw just needs to be a touch longer. Um, it's just, although having said that, the other four fit just, just. But uh, yeah, okay, so that's that. Right, so that's pretty much it. So it's all good. And now what we do is we connect it up. Da -da 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 -da. I'm going to borrow my son to hold the camera. Thank you, Lewis. Aim it down there. And we connect this up. Well, actually, I don't need to do that because I'm not going to show it on the TV. I just want to show the power. Right, come down, see it from the front. Ready, and we connect the power in. I see again my shaky hands. Voila! And as you can see, it starts to glow. And if we get a little bit closer, you can see that it doesn't. That it actually is moving. It isn't like um. It isn't um, going like, it isn't staying there and um, the colours are just a show of power. Yeah. It's actually moving and not moving slow, moving very, very fast. It is. And you go back to your camera. Thank you. And it's really good. Now, it's uh, if you feel in there, there's, that's really cold. That's really nice and cold. So it's going to really make sure. And it up top as well. Um, the fan is getting to that one at the very top as well as the one at the bottom so so it's excellent yeah so all in all thumbs up as i say i just need to write to them about that bottom screw because i just need a slightly longer screw uh because i'm pretty sure i've done it right everywhere else but if i've done anything wrong leave a comment let me know i don't think i've missed anything anywhere but basically that one just seems to not the, the screw just won't fit in that aside i'm pretty happy with this this is uh, this is excellent so uh yeah so that is the reverse up and just knock the screws flying uh, that's that one. So yeah, the ZP88 rack tower for Raspberry Pi. Enjoy!